Welcome back to Chapter 2. Today, we will first learn about how to control in the world editor. When you are in F6 mode, your view angled at your avatar. Now press F5, you will see the panel on the top and right appears. Press A, S, D, W with right mouse. Click to control your view. Open your camera first here. It's important to use wide angle to in building mode. It is the most comfortable view and easy to control distance. Change the speed of your movement to flight them. This is speed 5. Now this is speed 10. If you have for object, you can even move at speed 50. So this general make you move your view around in room easily. Depends on what you working on. So now, let's start with the tools and basic shape. Pick the cubic and it will appear in front of you. So now, notice the axis cursor at the object. You can move the object by selecting the yellow, red and blue cursor. To quickly move closer to selected object, you can click F. I demonstrate again, click F. Okay, so now practice your asswood movement to move around your object. So even when your view is away from your object, clicking F can quickly return back to your desired object quickly. So after knowing how to move the object, now we move on to how to rotate an object. Take close attention to the rotate red, blue and yellow line. Because it will keep your object moving in vertical and horizontal correctly. Or else you will be crazy rotating objects and end up not aligned with other objects. So let's get the cube back to the original position. Now also there is something very important when you started. Is to align your whole map linear with the ocean line. Because all new cube added to map will follow ocean line. Like I did my mistake as a beginner, didn't follow the ocean line. My whole time building process was in a pain to get new shape aligned correctly, so this is something to avoid. Here, I'll show you an example how this can be a huge mistake to start with. When you load a new cube, the cube is always follow ocean line, so you will have trouble to align with your previous object. So let's get back to the original setting, follow the ocean line to start with. Click F again to move closer quickly to the selected object. Now we move to the next tool, call resize. Pull at the colored cursor to resize your object. The next tool also resize but more flexible. The next tool with the hand tool we don't really use it. It's very hard to measure where the object move. The next tool we have is location tool, it is very useful. Let me show you how to move the spawn point to zero position. This is also a good tip to start your map with zero position. Input O in your position field and the object will move accordingly. Press F to quickly find your selected object. So now I will move my land to this spawn point as a good starting map point. Move you spawn point above the land. Make sure the footprint of the spawn is shown above the land. 
And now I will save this as my new map. We got a good start now. Now our spawn point is on set. Now let's try to move the cube to the spawn point. Use the location tool to copy your spawn point location digits number. Paste at your cube location. There you go. Now you know how to move any object to your desired location by using location tool. Let's try again by adding another shape and stack on the square cube. Copy the square cube location digits and paste on sphere location field as shown. And yes, you are done. Believe me, you will use this tool a lot. So now, let's move on to the next tool. What does global and local do? Global basically means all movement is follow. The ocean line, horizontal or vertical movement. The rotation movement also follow the ocean line too. Which mean follow the global map direction. You can twist your object facing diagonal face. While in global mode, it also move according to ocean line. So now we switch to local and see what it does to the object. Now you can notice the arrow is following the object locally, meaning it follow the direction how the object is faced. Knowing the difference in using global and local is tremendously important while building. And now let's move on to next tool. What is center and pivot do? Now notice in pivot mode, the arrow is showing at the bottom of the object. While you change to center mode, you notice the arrow showing at the center of the object. In center mode, the rotation is follow the center point as a reference point. You can switch between global or local mode to see how the object move accordingly to get better idea. In pivot mode, the rotation is follow the bottom point as a reference point. Let me show you how we use pivot bottom to make objects move in different angles but connected perfectly at the edge. This is the fastest and cleanest way to create objects. Let's do the same thing again, but now in center mode, to see the difference. Notice the rotation is started from the center of the object. By knowing how to use global, local, center, pivot, will help you tremendously in building. Now let us move to next tool, the color tool. Select your object and color them. You can also choose materia from your right panel to apply texture to your object. Next we will learn how group and ungroup our object. Use left mouse click and drag the area of your object to highlight them. And use Ctrl plus left mouse click to deselect the area you don't want, then click group the objects. To ungroup the objects, simply click it ungroup button to separate the grouped object. Next the last tool, the Fixed Distance and Fixed Rotation tool. To use these tool, you need to click the setting at your right panel. Change the snap step to 1 meter, and copy your selected object and move them in equal distance with ease. This is extremely important while building home-like windows. So now, let's see the Snap Angle tool. Change the digits to your desired angle. In this case, I try with 45 degree rotation. While the Snap Angle tool is selected, all rotation will be fixed at 45 degrees. Now let me do a summary quick demo by using all tools we have gone through previously.
By knowing how to use the tools, you can easily and fast to build clean and aligned objects. Last now, we will learn how to load a world file in the game. Go to File, and choose Load from File, and choose from your PC. Now you can imagine how an empty world turn into a complex house like this by using all tools we have in the editor. The human creativity is incredible, isn't it? Always use F key to bring you fast at the object you selected. Just like this. In case you want to remove everything in your world, you can go to File Clear All Props. Be sure each time to save your world first, or else all, your hard work will be gone. Your 3DX default room can always be retrieved in-game, at the File menu. As a start, you can practice those tools in this default room. Learn to move the object and group the objects together in the room. This is all, the basic tools you need to know to get started, and very soon you will have fun building your own room. Thank you for follow through the basic tools and you are now, ready to move to chapter 3, more fun coming. See you there.